Hello everyone, Silent here and welcome back to another Bug Rock of the Week episode. Today we're going to be once again covering the 1.16 Nether Update betas on the Bedrock Edition of Minecraft. We're mainly going to be focusing on the iron farm changes that were made in recent betas. I am a little bit late to the party on covering these changes, however it is better late than never to talk about the new changes, get excited for them, and just like enjoy them in general. In this video, we will also be covering the 1.16.0.55 beta. It is a very small beta and one that most people would generally skip over because there isn't really any new features. However, there are a lot of bug fixes and these are bugs that we've actually covered on Bug Rock before, so you know I'm gonna cover them because they finally got fixed. A real quick note at the beginning of this video is that if you notice any frame drops or you know just terrible frame rates throughout the video, that is because the chunk loading and chunk optimization is kind of not the greatest in this video. As you can see, we're just flying around loading new chunks on 32 chunk render distance and the yeah the frame rates and the stuttering is not very good we can also go ahead and demonstrate that much better just by cranking it up to 48 chunks and you'll see that uh yeah the lag is very supreme <laughs> my computer is more than capable of handling 80 chunk render distance so yeah, this is definitely a beta bug and one more thing while i have the majority of your attention if you are playing on the 1.16 betas and you find any bugs please send them my way or more importantly make a bug report for it and then send it my way i would like to start covering the bugs that are in the current betas that way we can help get them fixed before the 1.16 update releases for bedrock edition so again if you're playing in the betas send me any bugs you got and i'll put it in a video and then we can help get it fixed as a community so the first thing that we're going to be talking about in today's video is the massive buff that recently happened to iron farms on the bedrock edition this change was implemented in one of the 1.15 betas and basically iron golems will spawn 10 times faster than they do in the current 1.14 version on bedrock edition that is huge that is 10 times more iron per hour and if you guys are familiar with bedrock edition iron farms you know that that is a huge deal the standard iron farm on bedrock edition single village will typically give you about 32 iron per hour which is just ah it's so bad we've had terrible iron farms the entirety of the existence of bedrock edition you will need to update your iron farm designs because now you need 21 beds at least 10 villagers and you need every single one of those villagers to have a workstation as well not a big change really not worth mentioning throw some workstations into your iron farm you'll start getting golems in the new version and this means that you're going to get so so much more iron per hour from your iron farms it's a really really nice fix of mojang to add to the game one thing that we should keep in mind when talking about iron farms is that it's been confirmed by the bedrock edition developers that iron farm parody what is up with that sheep head did you see that that was not that was not chill <laughs> uh, as I was saying, uh, Iron Farm parody is confirmed, so we will be getting the Java Edition Iron Farm mechanics on a Bedrock Edition at some point in the future, and that will mean that we'll be getting the scare mechanics and all that other good stuff that Java Edition currently has. They want to bring Iron Farm parody, mob spawning, and mob despawning parody to the bedrock edition which honestly is a massive deal it's super nice because java edition has great mechanics that overall work very well for everyone so keep your eyes peeled for new mob spawning despawning and iron farm mechanics in the future betas one java villager parody feature that's already been added to bedrock edition in the 1.16 betas is the fact that you can now turn a villager into a zombie villager and then cure them using some weakness potions and then golden apple and that'll make them give you a better deal. So as you can see, the trades for this guy is 24 paper, six emeralds, four books, and one emerald. We're now gonna go ahead and turn that guy into a zombie villager and then cure him and see what his trades are. We should see him give us a massive discount. And there we go. This guy just cured back into a villager. And now we can look at his trades. And as you can see, that is so much better. Look at that, a single piece of paper for one emerald. Wow, okay, that's pretty, that is pretty great. Oh, and they made a mistake. I love this. So you can trade a single emerald to get a bookshelf, right? You can then break down that bookshelf to get three books, and then you can trade a single book 
to get an emerald. This was a bug on Java Edition as well, or kind of just an oversight by the Java team, and that has now been added to Bedrock Edition. So you can officially get infinite emerald trading with the uh, with the villagers. <laughs> that is beautiful. That that might actually be a better title for this episode than Fixed Iron Farms. I don't know. The, the dilemma of being a YouTuber and having so many different clickbait titles to choose from. It's beautiful. So those are two new features that have been added to the villager mechanics on a Bedrock Edition. Again, keep your eyes peeled for more mechanics in the future. But now we're going to move into some bug fixes from the 1.16.0.55 beta. The first bug that we're going to take a look at is one that's been around for absolutely ages and that we covered back in episode 30. For reference, we're, we're on episode 56 right now. Anyway, this bug has to do with mobs losing interest in the player immediately after losing line of sight. Line of sight basically just means that the mob either can or cannot see you. So as soon as we spawn that guy in, he's going to walk towards us. If we move to the side, we break line of sight and he completely forgets about us and stops pathfinding. We can demonstrate that again. He walks towards us. We move to the side. He completely stops. Now the change logs specifically mentioned creepers were fixed and it does not appear to be the case. As you can see, as soon as he can't see us, he completely stops and loses all interest in trying to blow up my beautiful little demonstration. This does not appear to be an issue with other mobs such as zombies, wither skeletons, or skeletons, but these are pretty much the only four mobs that I have tested. However, creepers definitely still have this issue, and creepers were the one thing that were specifically mentioned and the change logs. This bug is very personal to me as I reported it and it also directly affects a lot of my videos. You may have noticed that basically every video I make besides Truly Bedrock has some form of cinematic intro and this bug having to do with the smooth camera being super jittery basically makes a ton of different cinematic shots on Bedrock Edition completely impossible. So what you can see right now is probably not going to show up that well on the actual YouTube video, but if you try this out in game, you'll see what I mean by the jittery smooth camera. Now, if you're not aware of what smooth camera even is on Bedrock Edition, you need to be playing with a keyboard and mouse, you need to turn on full keyboard gameplay, and then you'll get this option for smooth rotation speed. And this can go very, very high, and I would not recommend that because then you end up with something like this, which is not at all practical for any use case ever. <laughs> anyway, I generally keep this on a smooth rotation speed of one, which allows you to get some very cool little cinematic shots. However, the camera is extremely jittery. The best way I can describe it is that the camera kind of teleports you from point to point instead of smoothly transitioning from point to point. So if you imagine that I, the player, am the camera, that's essentially going from like here over to there and back again. It's not like a smooth walk from block to block. And it's very strange. Anyway, this bug was marked as fixed for this beta, but it definitely still exists. So this here is with smooth rotation speed of three, and hopefully this shows up a little bit better for you guys on YouTube. But it's, it, yeah, it's very bad. <laughs> everything's blurry, everything's jittery, nothing is smooth about this whatsoever. One bug that does luckily appear to have been fixed in this 1.16.0.55 beta is the fact that light will now properly go across a chunk and sub chunk borders. If you've seen recent Bug Rock episodes, you'll know that I showed this off a couple of weeks ago, and this area was an absolute mess. As you can see, we have a squid farm, but all of the chunks around it are marked out in these solid blocks and normally when we would place down the torches the light would only stay in the chunk that you place the torch in but as you can see the light now properly goes across all of the chunk borders so this does appear to be fixed and also it updated the light uh, because when I logged out of this world last this bug was still in action loaded it up in the beta and all the lighting glitches were resolved so that is always a good thing this does appear to be properly fixed of course if you notice this bug happening in the beta version then please go update the bug report 
that way they know that it needs a little bit more attention. A very difficult bug to reproduce, it just kind of happens randomly, is the fact that sometimes you'll get random corruption lines throughout your Minecraft world. These corruption lines delete all the blocks, builds, entities, structures within that chunk, and they typically go all the way from the south side of the world all the way north, so they are kind of a really massive deal. On screen, you can see some footage of these bugs in action, and supposedly these were fixed in the 1.16.0.55 beta. Now, I have no way of confirming that because it's a very hard bug to reproduce, and it only happens on larger worlds, typically multiplayer ones so i have no real way of confirming if it is fixed if any of you playing in the 1.16 betas notice this bug in action please go update the bug report with said information that way they know that this bug is still plaguing the game there have been a couple of parity changes to bubble columns on the bedrock edition in this new beta one is that you can now actually grab water sources from the bubble column as you can see there and we can put them back in as well now this change does mean that bubble columns are actually made out of water sources instead of flowing water like they were in the previous updates. Now there's no real drawbacks to this change besides that you know bubble columns are going to take a tiny bit more effort to build because every single block of the bubble column will need to be a water source. Ultimately, I feel like this is a good change because now Java and Bedrock Edition will have these same mechanics. Now, one thing I do find to be weird about this change is that you cannot use bottles on the actual bubble column to get water. You can only use a bucket, which is kind of strange. So there's still one more existing bug with bubble columns. If you put a water source at the top of a bubble column, it's only going to flow to the side by one block. I would have assumed that this fix would fix it because that's a water source now instead of flowing water but alas, it, it's bug rock. Now they did actually fix one bug with this change and that is that sponges will no longer leave behind invisible ghost water that only disappears once you update it or re-log. So that bug has been fixed, that's good to see, that's been around for quite a while. So that's just about all the features and bug fixes that I'm planning on featuring on Bug Rock at the moment. Once they release some more betas then of course I'll start covering those features and bug fixes as well. However, the current plan is that next episode I'll be covering a beta bugs. So again, if you find any bugs in the 1.16 betas, send them my way. I can cover them in the next video and then we can help get them fixed as a community. That way the 1.16 beta is far, far better. And that's going to do it for today's Bug Rock of the Week episode. I hope you guys are enjoying the beta coverage on the channel. It seems like these episodes are doing a little bit better than the normal episodes are. So thank you all so very much for the support on Bug Rock recently. If you did enjoy this episode, then of course, make sure to leave a like on the video. It significantly helps out the video and the channel. And also, if you did like this video, maybe share it around with some other people who you think might enjoy as well. They would probably appreciate it, and so would I. Also, if you're new here and you want to see more videos like this in the future, then of course, make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any. And I'll see you all down in the comment section and in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, and then there was silence.